Dear all, welcome to the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss how do you measure three-phase power. Yes, there is an answer. Three-phase power can be measured by using two wattmeter method. This is one of the most convenient method to measure three-phase power. At the end of this video, you will understand how do you measure three-phase power by using two wattmeter method. Let's get started. First of all, you need to consider a three-phase load. It may be three-phase induction load or whatever it can be. So let's assume that there is a three-phase load. Okay, three-phase load with RL, RL nature. Okay. So you can I let me draw the three-phase load first. I'm going to change. Okay. So everybody consider a three-phase load. So I am going to go, go for star connection only. You can go for either star or delta, anything is fine. But uh, I am convenient with the star connection. So let's draw the three phase load. So I am going to draw the star connection, star connected load. It is an RL load, I am assuming that. It is basically an RL load. So try to draw neatly. Okay. So what I am going to do is, I am going to connect two watt meter at two lines. Let me draw you. Let me draw and show it to you. So like this you can able to draw. Two watt meter should be kept different lines. So let me call this is your line 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 B. Correct. Now let me draw the pressure coil. Current coil I have already drawn. Now I would like to draw the pressure coil. From here, it should be connected here. This is a junction point. Now what I will do is, from this point, I would like to connect to B line. Yes. So try to draw the circle. So that your white meter connection will be completed. Like this you can connect. So name the white meter. M L C V main load common and voltage here also M L C and V collectively let me rename the watt meter let me mention this is your first watt meter it is called W1 this is your second watt meter that is called W2 uh, this is your three phase supply. 3 phase 400 volt comma 50 hertz AC supply AC supply where is your load this is your 3 phase load 3 phase 3 phase RL load mention star connection the star connected it's understood already so anyway I'm just mentioning for your understanding let me draw this is your neutral point okay. I have drawn the neutral point typical examples of RL loads are you can mark it's a motor basically induction motor you may mention like induction motor clear this much you can understand remember that y line this is a common 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 point the main advantages of two watt meter method is it is possible to measure the power consumed by the three phase load for balanced and unbalanced load balanced load and unbalanced load
okay now i consider balanced load let me consider the balanced load and balanced load we will discuss afterwards the total power consumed by the three phase load can be computed by the sum of two watt meter that means the total power consumed by the three phase load is given by sum of individual watt meters w1 and if i call w1 and w2 you are able to get the total power consumed by the three phase load clear now how do you compute w1 and w2 let's get started how to calculate w1 and w2 i am going to take you the phase diagram let me draw the phase diagram first of all you have to mark the phase voltages so i'll be drawing the phase voltages you can have an observation what are the phase voltages vr and vyn and v bn okay i'm going to draw so this is your vr next let me draw vyn and the third one is this must be vbn hope it is clear i already told you that we are considering an rl load in case of rl load what is the speciality current lags behind the voltage it is a non ideal case so current lag by the voltage at an angle of 5 degree so regarding vr look at vr ir is lagging at an angle of 5 so please mark ir okay this you can mark it as 5 likewise you can mark iy iy is lagging behind vy b by n at an angle of phi because it's a inductive circuit now regarding v b n this is n only okay n here also current is lagging at an angle of phi now please consider the previous circuit here as you can see the watt meter one is connected between v connected connected at between r and y terminal so the line voltage is vr y moving on to second watt meter it has been connected between v and y lines so the voltage the line voltage will be v b y so i have to consider i need to consider vr y vr y and v b y so i need to construct these two things vry and vby how to make out i will show you so first of all vry has to be constructed so i would like to extrapolate to vyn in the opposite direction so i'll be extrapolating the vyn in the opposite direction so try to extend it yes this become minus b by n so in between b by n and v r n i can able to construct v r y so result and i can able to write v r y this will be v r y this will be v r y okay now construct the parallelogram okay now angle you can able to mark so what about the angle this will be 60 degree and this will be 30 this also will be 30 now what is the angle between vry and ir it will be 30 plus 5 hope you got it likewise you have to construct v b y how to make out v b y so please consider v b n and v y n okay v b n and v y n both are phase voltage from this i can able to construct v 